in the name of God, the most beneficent, the most merciful. It is you we worship and it is you we ask for help, my fellow Pakistanis. Firstly, I want to commend my social media team for their historic efforts. I take pride in them and all the social media users who have been actively writing since the beginning of the regime change operation. I thank all of them. You might be concerned about my condition in jail. For me, being in jail is a form of worship for the true freedom of Pakistan. I am ready to sacrifice my life for my country and for my people. In jail, I have been reading history, religion and literature along with the Quran and the Prophet's biography, peace be upon him. This has strengthened my faith and resolve. I want to reiterate my vision of real freedom. For me, real freedom is when rule of law is supreme. Everyone is equal in front of the law. Constitution and rule of law are the only ways to progress. But unfortunately, at this time, we are completely moving in the opposite direction. According to conservative estimates, my party, PTI, has the support of 75% of the people of Pakistan. But we are being kept out of the electoral process. PTI is not being allowed to hold workers' conventions or any political activities. Our people are being oppressed and their families are also being harassed. I commend all the leaders of PTI who took a stand for this cause. History will remember their sacrifices. I am deeply impressed by the courage of all the women of PTI, especially Dr. Yasmin Rashid, Aleya Humza, Sanam Javed, and Thayaba Raja, and all the brave female workers of PTI. Their courage has astonished and inspired everyone. On the other hand, the infamous London Agreement has hijacked the entire system of Pakistan. Due to that agreement, the entire system is being forced to kneel before Nawaz Sharif. Every Pakistani is aware that a deal has been made between the convict and absconder, Nawaz Sharif, and state institutions. Democratic institutions are being destroyed by the powerful people for this darling and selected puppet. But this selected puppet should know that he will lose the coming elections on February 8th because no one can defeat the power of the people. When we establish the rule of law, we can attract investments from around the world and improve our economy. With a better economy, we can lift our people out of poverty. Despite the challenges of COVID-19, during my government, we managed 6% growth rate of the economy. But after regime change, the imported government destroyed everything and our economy was reduced to 0.29 growth rate. I want to tell everyone in Pakistan that our overseas Pakistanis are our greatest asset. They are contributing to the development of other countries at the moment. But when we establish the rule of law, they will not only invest in Pakistan, but God willing, return to Pakistan as well. 1.5 million professionals have left the country in the last 20 months. Brain drain is on the rise to the extent that even specialists from our Shokut Khanum Free Cancer Hospital are leaving the country. PTI is the only party talking about the rule of law and has the trust of overseas Pakistanis. They have sent record remittances during the PTI government. Finally, I want to tell my fellow countrymen, especially the youth, to come out and vote. Check your vote and polling station by texting your national ID number at 8300. Prepare to vote on February 8th and ensure the security of your vote at the polling station. There is no way we can lose if you come out in large numbers. God willing, PTI will achieve a record vote and win the election with a clear majority. I want to tell my people that life, death, honor and disgrace are in God's hands. So, do not fear anyone and come out to vote on February 8th. Long live Pakistan.